Hey, what's up everybody? I just want to do a quick video about this removable limbs C-3PO that I just came across recently. And if you haven't seen it yet, go check out the new video of Toy Federation. You can find this picture here for the thumbnail. Go check it out. So I ended up buying this removable limbs C-3PO and I did not get the Boba Fett that I wanted to get from Toy Federation. And I also just recently learned something and it's actually interesting. And there's a reason why I bought this C-3PO. And I know you guys saw me card the other removable limbs C-3PO that I have, which was in that Kenner bag. So I'm going to explain why I bought this and the reason why I have it. But also, check out the gold on this. It's pretty good. That's in really good shape. It's beautiful. So this is the removable limbs C-3PO that I bought from Ryan at Toy Federation. And this is how I bought it. It came this way. So I learned recently on my own, doing research, that the one that was bagged, that I put on the card back, that one came in a white box, and that was the mail-away one. So that one only, and remember, that one had the stamp, which I'll pull that picture up right now. There it is. So this one only says LFL 1982. There is no maker on the bottom. It's blank. It doesn't say China, Hong Kong, Taiwan. But then this one here that I just recently bought, when I bought it, I got in the car and we were going down the road and I looked at it. I thought it was the same one. And this one says LFL 1982 Hong Kong. So there is a marking on the back. I will show you guys that it does say Hong Kong on here. And some of you guys don't care about this with the variants. I just find it very interesting. And I think it's pretty cool to have two of the same figures with two different stamps on it. That's me. I think that's actually kind of cool to have. So I'm figuring this figure here that we're looking at was the one that was on the card back originally. And it had the marking with the Hong Kong on there. So, And the other one was in the white box, like I said. So that is pretty cool to learn. I learned something and I didn't know that. So I learned that on my own doing some research. And that's crazy. And it's really amazing that we can come across information that we never knew about by accident and you just accidentally learn something and we all learn something new in star wars every day so as you can see it says lfl 1982 and it says hong kong right there on the bottom that is pretty neat man the other one it just says lfl 1982 which was the mail away one and then this one was the one that was on the card back now i've never had a c3po that's been so shiny so this is kind of mind-blowing to me right here just to be able to see this thing in person. And it's a lot more shinier in person than it is on camera. But that's pretty cool and that is awesome. Now a lot of you probably think I made a mistake by carding the one that was the mail-away figure. Honestly, I already did that. It's happened, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And this one is going to be displayed right outside of that one. I might end up carding this one. I don't know. This figure's uh, limbs are really tight, and everything about this figure is beautiful. So, and honestly, this one is probably in better shape than the other one. But I learned my lesson. I learned something. That's what happens. And honestly, it's okay. But it's just so funny that I came across this and just did a video about it and found another one that has a different marking on it and then did my research. So... But now I know and I learned my lesson and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't watched the Toy Federation video, go check it out. We just went there toy hunting, so I posted that up on our YouTube channel. So may the force be with you guys and uh, take care of my Star Wars friends.